Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're looking at NEO. NEO is absolutely exploded today. The share is up 11.6%. This is just today alone. During the last five days of trading for the NEO company, it is up over 30%. And in the last month, it's over up to 16%. Now, year to date, the stock is still down 29%. However, I don't see that as a negative thing. This simply means that there are cheap shares available for a brilliant company such as NEO. So why has NEO exploded today? Now, rest assured, this is not overhyped. This reaction from the market is not a surprise by any means necessary. The NEO stock has been trading below market value for quite some time. And suddenly, a wave of good news has risen for the NEO company. So what is it exactly? Let's get to the point. NEO has delivered 15,620 vehicles in April 2024 alone. Why is this number so significant? Well, this represents a strong increase of 134% in year-over-year -year growth. This simply means that this year, NEO has increased their delivery growth of vehicles by over 134%. This is by far one of the most impressive company developments we've ever seen from an EV company in recent months. What's also really extraordinary is the amount of vehicles NEO has delivered throughout 2024 alone. Now, I'd like you to keep in mind that the start of April simply meant that we're now in Q2. Q1, NEO was actually off to a relatively slow start, just like many other automakers. The first quarter of the year is usually the slowest. In fact, last year, Q1, NEO delivered almost 1,000 more vehicles. However, it is really Q2 where NEO has been picking up steam, as you can see with these numbers starting in April. We're now in May and going into June. Soon we'll find out just how well they've done in Q2. And based on these estimates, we're waiting some fairly impressive numbers from NEO. Now, like I said, what's really impressive is how much vehicles they've delivered in 2024 alone. This year, they've delivered 45,673 vehicles year to date in 2024. That's an increase by 21% year over year. Meaning last year in 2024, in the first four months, they delivered 21% less vehicles. So despite the company having a relatively easy and slow start to the year for Q1, as you can tell, started to woken up with every might that they have. So let's get into some of these specific numbers. The deliveries consist of 8,817 premium smart electric SUVs, 6,803 premium smart electric sedans. Cumulative deliveries of NEO vehicles reached 495,000 as of April the 30th, 2024. Essentially, in NEO's entire lifespan, they've pretty much delivered over half a million vehicles now. And that, ladies and gents, I do find to be an impressive number. And considering that 45,000 of those vehicles have only been delivered in this year, what else can we expect NEO to do throughout the entirety of this year? Will they hit 200,000 deliveries? Or will it be more than 200,000 deliveries? Perhaps 225,000 or 250,000? We can expect big things. With NEO's infrastructure growing in the European region, we can expect a lot more deliveries coming out for NEO. With NEO's ability to compete very strictly with the Tesla brand, we also expect it to be a very competitive year for both automakers and for NEO to be the most positive input. I expect NEO to have a lot more positive response compared to Tesla. While Tesla is doing well as expected, Tesla's growth is significantly slower than NEO. Why is this? One of the main reasons is because NEO is a much smaller company. It is significantly easier to grow such a smaller company. Compared to Tesla, who've already done so much growth, they're now getting close to 2 million vehicles being delivered per year. And that's not a number that's easily topped. You've got to keep in mind, Mercedes can only deliver like a million or 1.1 million vehicles per year. BMW, it's like 1.3 million. And for Audi, it's like 900,000 vehicles. On, on, this is all estimate, of course. So for Tesla to be beaten all of those automakers, you can only imagine for Tesla to continue growing, it's going to be slow and it's not that easily done for vehicles that are electric and so expensive, such as the ones that Tesla offers. So what Tesla is already doing is already impressive. So for NEO to grow, one of the most important thing is whether or not they can compete with the price cuts that Tesla is offering, whether or not these vehicles can actually compete with Tesla. I've been in a NEO vehicle. 
This was the Neo ET5, which is coming to the UK this summer. And I can easily say, I would take the Neo ET5 any day over the Tesla Model 3. I've test driven a Tesla Model 3. I think I've test driven at least two. And I'm telling you, with my personal opinion, based on the interior and how nice it was to be in the Neo ET5, which is a base model for a Neo vehicle. An ET5 is on the low end for a Neo vehicle. It's not the most luxurious Neo vehicle you've ever seen. But yet still, I was impressed. And I think people living in the European region will also find Neo vehicles very likable. As long as they're reliable and as long as the swapping infrastructure is there and available, I think customers will be compelled to at least try out a brand that is different from what Tesla has to offer. Now, another great news on April 25th, 2024, Neo launched its 24 ET7, a premium smart electric sedan. This is an executive sedan. This is the beautiful new vehicles Neo is bringing to the market. Now, featuring major enhancements in interior and exterior design and digital cockpit, the ET7 is tailored to cater to the demands of premium executive users. Deliveries of the ET7 begin on April 30th, 2024. And I'm just waiting for this technology to be brought to the European continent. In other news as well, on April 25, 2024, Neo entered into a strategic cooperation with Lotus Technology. This is a leading global luxury electric vehicle maker on charging and swapping. Neo has consistently pursued corporations on charging and swapping technology and has previously formed strategic partnerships with Shangan Automotive, Geely Group, Geely BMD parent holder of Lotus, Jacques Group and Chevy Automobile. Jacques Group and Chevy Automobile on battery swapping technology. Neo is dedicated to enhancing technology and innovation and standardization for charging and swapping, as well as promoting a large scale standardized power network to provide users with efficient and convenient recharging experiences. Now, let's break down all of this figure a bit more intricately. These are some of Neo's impressive numbers starting from January 2023 last year. Looking at January 2024 this year, you can clearly see that NEOs actually improve on a lot of things. Start of the year is typically slow, like I said. From January to February, pretty much throughout Q1 is usually a slow start. And particularly last year, Q1 and Q2 were both slow start for NEO. It was really in Q3 and Q4 last year that NEO really picked up production. However, NEO is already picking up production a lot earlier one entire quarter earlier this year. The company is not waiting for July before they can pick up production fully. Based on these figures I found on the electricvehicle.com website, Neil has actually been picking up figures, especially in March and April, April being the more impressive month. And this is why they've done so well throughout April. So I'm expecting Q2 for Neo to be very impressive, especially compared to last year, which means that it, it will only do more positive for the Neo stock. So while a lot of people might be contemplating if this is still a good time to buy the stock while the price has just risen, the value has just risen, it actually turns out that it might still be a good buy. And by the way, this is not financial advice. This is just my own opinion. But it's rather impressive looking back at Neo. You can clearly see January last year, it was like 8,500. January this year, 10,000. Granted, February last year, they did 12,000. And this year, they did 8,000. 10,000 in March last year, 11,866 in March this year. But that's where it picks up. So I'm expecting May and June to be either on par with April or at least above the expectations because now our expectations are set really high and usually this is where we get disappointed but even if we do get disappointed a little bit the the most important thing is that towards the end of the year neo improves on overall deliveries throughout the entire of 2024 a little bit more chart on neo positivity let's forget about 2022 because that was a bad year for everyone let's look at 2021 and onwards and we're looking at q1 specifically you can see throughout 2021, 2022, 2023, they basically increased deliveries by at least 5,000 units. 2024 is when there was a slight difference. 2024 is when they were in a somewhat negative state compared to 2023. 
So Q1 2024 is where they had the first reduction in the last three, four years. But like I said, I think they're overcompensating with that in Q2. And that might not be a bad thing. That might be a strategic move that might work very nicely for the Neo brand. So I must say, I'm quite happy to see this. If there's anything specific that you'd like me to talk about based on Neo, please leave a comment below and I'll, I'll do my research and I'll give my own analysis on this topic. But what do you think? Do you think that Neo will continue to do well in Q2? Do you think that they will continue to do well in May and in June, just as they just did in April? Or do you think our expectations are too high and the Neo company will actually do a little bit negative in the coming months? If they don't continue to increase on deliveries month after month in, in May and June, then we can expect another huge increase in Q3. But companies usually build up towards the end of the year. That's when they really get most of the work done. That's when they really get most of the cars through the door. So that's it based on this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Leave a like, leave a comment. And subscribe to our newsletter as well. You know, there's a link in the description. And remember to follow me on Twitter. I've got lots of updates over there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.